Hello and welcome to Bright Ideas with me, Dr. Sunny. Last time I told you about the most common type of communication apprehension, state anxiety. And this time we're gonna be talking about trait anxiety. So for all the shy people out there, this one's for you. How do you know if you have trait anxiety? Are you apprehensive about giving your speech? Or are you apprehensive about communicating with people in general? If this sounds like you, you're not alone. In her biographical documentary, pop icon Britney Spears said, I'm not made for this industry. I've always been kind of shy since I was a little girl. It's who I am to be modest, so I can't really help it. Usually shy people who avoid communicating and interacting are suffering from a fear of judgment. And they usually try to avoid almost all forms of communication. How common is shyness? Pioneering personality psychology professor Bernardo Carducci at Kansas State University told Psychology Today that 45% of adults say they're shy. He breaks that down into three characteristics, and these are interesting. Shy people are excessively self-conscious. Shy people engage in negative self-evaluation. And shy people have something of a negative self-preoccupation. Dr. Bernardo breaks it down nicely. Shy people truly want to be social, but for some reason they feel like they can't, and that's the typical pain of shyness, when we want something we can't have. The good news is you can trick your brain and overcome your shyness to become a more confident public speaker, even if you have trait anxiety. In the next video, I'm going to tell you about the final type of communication apprehension, scrutiny fear.